I don't think that it matters what she says. I think as long as you have a pop of color or something along that line, you know, some pretty heels or some jewelry, but it's it's very cute, it's very simple, very believable. Hey yeah. girl. Hey. Hold on, let me call you back, okay? All right, bye. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. How have you been? Good, really good. Oh my gosh, it's been so long, girl. I know, you look so good. Thank you, girl, you do too. Thanks. Speaking of looking good, though, this skirt is so cute. Thank you. Thank you. It's so cute. Where'd you get it? Where'd I get it? Girl, I made it. You made it? Yes, girl, out of a pair of pants. You made your skirt? Yeah. <gasps> Cut it up, did some sewing, and bam. You made it out of men's pants? Yes. No. Wait, I have a video. Make one? Yeah, I made a video me. here. So I'm starting off with a pair of plaid trousers. These are, I think they're men's, but I got them like extra big so I have a lot of material to work with. And then I have them turned inside out and I'm gonna go ahead and flip it in half. And I'm taking this skirt that I have because I like the, um, the style of it. It's kind of like the style that I'm going for. So I folded that in half and I just placed it on top of the trousers and I am cutting the pants legs off. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take the pants and I'm gonna open them up and I'm gonna make sure that it's still turned inside out because now we're gonna take the skirt and open it up and place it on top of the pants and then we're just gonna basically like outline the skirt. Um, I really just freehanded this. I didn't, it wasn't perfect, but it came out good so um, now I am um, just cutting up the crotch area or you can um, also just take off the seams like rip out the seams but I just ended up cutting mine out Okay, so now I'm going to go around the perimeter of the tracing of the skirt that I just traced, and I'm gonna go out about one inch, just so that when I cut it out, I can have like seam allowance. But yeah, now once I get done tracing that, I'm going to go ahead and just cut out what I just traced. Okay, so once you finish, it should look a little something like this. And now I'm just taking some pins. I'm just pinning outside of the trace so that I can go ahead and sew along the lines. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sew it together. I ended up sewing not directly on that first line, but a little bit outside of that line just because I didn't want the skirt to be like extra tight. Now that we have both sides of the skirt sewn down, we're gonna go ahead and take some extra fabric um, from the pants leg. And I basically just cut the pants leg um, open and now I'm just putting it onto the skirt just to see um, how much of the material I need. And you basically just have to gauge it off of how long you want the flap and how far over you want the flap to go. And now I'm just cutting it out. So this is my flap. Um, and now I'm gonna just take the flap and I'm gonna sew down the top part of it just so that it can have like a, um, a clean edge. And um, once I get done sewing the front part, I'm taking some pins and I'm pinning the side of the flap onto the skirt. Um, and make sure that you fold the side down so that the edge is clean. And because I wanted to keep like the belt loop area open so that I can wear a belt if I wanted to because I like wearing belts. So um, I kind of just like started to sew it and then I skipped over the belt part and then continued to sew down the side of the flap or the side of the skirt just so I can have like a little hole area to insert the belt through. So once you attach the flap to the skirt, it should look a little something like this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the other side of the flap and I'm basically just gonna fold it down just a little bit and pin it and then start to sew, just so it has like that clean finished look. And it should look like this. And now I'm taking the that middle portion because I didn't like it open like that, so I'm basically just sewing that middle part together so that it's not like an open split. Um, 
this is optional, but I just think that it looks better. All right, so now I'm taking the bottom part of the flap and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did for the rest of the flap and just um, create a hem just to make it look cleaner. And yeah. And once you're done with the bottom of the flap, you're all finished with the sewing portion. And now we're just gonna add the, um, what is this called? And now we're just gonna go ahead and add the snap to the skirt so that we can um, snap the skirt, snap the flap to the skirt. So for this, I'm using a snap and they give you directions on the back of the snap package on how to put them on. And it's pretty easy, you just have to follow the directions. But if you want a visual, you can just watch this, I guess, even though it doesn't really, it's not very helpful. <laughs> But yeah. And once you finish adding the little buttons, you're all done and you have this cute asymmetrical plaid high waisted skirt. See? Simple. Alyssa? Alyssa? I like the simplicity of the sim okay that hold on huh wait what happened <laughs> i like it <laughs> you made it yeah Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> because you know i make all of my stuff i made the skirt <laughs> you made the skirt wait i was laughing <laughs> Why are you laughing? i was laughing because Oh my gosh, you won't believe this. What? For the past week, I've had like straight up watery diarrhea. Oh, what? <laughs> Bye, Ta -ta. darlings. Good day to you, darlings. <laughs> Ta -ta Thanks for, now. for watching. Stay fashionable. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Let's go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that in there. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.